And it was very easy to find significant damage from the storm in Orchard Park. More trees came down, many right into people's homes. Thankfully, no one was seriously hurt. But people had little time to look at that damage. They had to get to work clearing away the storm debris. News 4's Dave Graber continues our team coverage now. He's on Bunting Road in Orchard Park. Dave? Well, Jackie, the cleanup continues here in Orchard Park. As you mentioned, I am here off of a bunting road. And despite all the damage that you're seeing, down trees and down wires, residents I talked to today say they feel blessed, even if there is a very long road ahead. Roland Newfer was hoping for the best when he drove up to his massive garage in Orchard Park. I'm thinking, well, maybe it was just the roofing. And then I realized it wasn't the roofing, it was the roof, the rafters, the lighting insulation all tossed aside in winds that exceeded 100 miles an hour like it was made of cardboard rather than metal and wood i had a boat in there that i've owned since it was new luckily that just got flooded and stinks now and we're trying to clean it up a brand new truck with only 1200 miles on it i've got memorabilia that i've collected all my life i'm 73 years old went to all four bills super bowls have autographed pictures i have my bills tickets I have the Bills Super Bowl tickets. They're all water damaged. How do you put a value on that? Roland and his dog had a close call, and despite the damage, he remains in good spirits. Kind of lucky. At Ten minutes earlier, my dog and I would have been sitting in the open doorway, and who knows what would have happened. I probably would have ended up like Toto and uh, Judy Garland. Like the iconic pair, portions of this barn's metal roof took a ride yesterday and wrapped themselves around these trees in Jeff Elmer's front yard, cutting off the direct path to his living room. So it's probably a good thing the trees were here. Otherwise, probably would have had some really serious issues. Yeah, some very serious issues indeed. I'm standing now next to uh, next to that metal roofing, that aluminum roofing that you saw uh, in my story there after talking with Jeff. I mean, this is in such a direct line, uh, as you could see in that video that you just saw with his front living room where he and his wife were yesterday, huddled away from uh, the windows to make sure that uh, these high winds were not going to blow any of the glass. But they're looking at this thinking that, again, despite all the damage they see in their front yard and their backyard, they consider themselves very lucky. More from Orchard Park coming up tonight on News 4 at 6 o'clock. For now, reporting live in Orchard Park, Dave Graber, News 4 at 5.